Question 5. Determine approximate solutions for each to the nearest hundredth radian. So we have part A here which says cos 2x equals to 1 over square root 2 within the domain of 0 to 2 pi. Right? So, well, I'll give you more questions for you to answer uh, regard similar to these. Okay? Those would be part B, C and D. Now, let's try to analyze this question. It says cos 2x equals to 1 over square root 2. So 1 over 2 square root 2 reminds us of a special triangle, correct? So I will write down my answer in exact value, not to the nearest 100. So I will write down to the exact value, okay? And you use calculator, round it to 100th radian and then put it in, okay? So you fill it in for me to get the nearest 100th radian for this particular question, okay? And I'll give you some more practice problems for which I expect you to give me, if possible, exact value. Otherwise, round them to the nearest hundredth radian, okay? Now, in general, whenever I'm solving my questions, then we'll prefer to write answers in exact value. If not, then we'll round them to hundredth of radian, okay? Now, here we see that, well, the domain is from 0 to 2 pi that domain is for x what should be the domain for 2x our question has cos of 2x so in these kinds of questions the most important thing which is missed many times by students is to understand that part so let me just write it big and bold here so that you understand how to solve and take into consideration the domain now since it is 2x so we'll multiply this by 2 and there we go we get a domain which is not just between 0 to 2 pi, but is between 0 to 4 pi. Oh, I was supposed to write pi here. Yes, 0 to 4 pi. Correct? That's the domain. What it really means is that when you're trying to write down your answers, and here, let me get to the answer straight, uh, x and cos 2x is positive. That means let's write down the cost rule. So once you write down the cost rule, you know cost means positive in these two quadrants. Perfect. And we need something like 1 over square root 2. So 1 over square root 2 reminds you of this triangle, which is pi by 4 triangle, correct? So this is a pi by 4, pi by 4, and pi by 2 triangle, correct? So that angle is pi by 4 for us. This is 90 degrees. These two sides are equal. And if I plug in 1 here for the sides, 1, 1, this becomes square root 2. And when you, you know, that cos of pi by 4 is actually 1 over square root 2. Perfect. That means cos 2x. So we have this question as cos 2x equals to 1 over square root 2. And so we know 2x should be pi by 4. So let's, let's make it a fine related acute angle. So we'll say, well, think like this. So we'll just find one angle and we know there are many angles which will satisfy this equation. And then we say, well, let's say we know one solution. And this is my acute angle and I'm calling this angle as alpha. You may call theta something else. So well, I say, well, my cos of alpha, which gives me one over square root two is when alpha is equals to pi by 4. Right, so I got this one. So I say, well, my angle is alpha and alpha is equals to pi by 4. That is definitely one solution. Now, if alpha is pi by 4, then what is the corresponding angle in quadrant 4? In quadrant 4, the angle should be, we'll go from here, one circle like this. Perfect. And that is 2 pi minus pi by 4. So that's one way of calculating it. The other way, which is very easy when we do radians, is like just count by pi by 4s, right? 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, 5, 6, and 7 pi by 4. So that is 7 pi by 4 for me, or 1 less than 2 pi. So 1 pi by 4 less than 2 pi by 4. Okay. Well, that's too complicated. So let's write down like, like this. So one answer is pi by 4. The other one is 7 pi by 4. Now remember, look at this domain. It is not just one circle. 
it is another circle also since the domain for 2x is 0 to 4 pi that is kind of critical our domain is from 0 to 2 pi so so we'll go one more circle right one more circle means adding adding more pi's so you think like this for pi by 4's it is actually 8 one circle is 8 pi by 4 is that okay 8 pi by 4 plus 1 pi by 4 gives me 9 pi by 4 that is because in fractions you make common denominators right <laughs> that's correct and then 8 pi by 4 we have to add right so we can add 8 pi by 4 to this to get after one more circle and 8 pi by 4 to this also right so 8 plus 7 is 15 so we get 15 pi by 4 that is easy math right otherwise you know what your answers are so your answers are 2 pi plus minus pi by 4 right <laughs> like that also you can write anyway so those are all different options but these angles are I should have written theta but I started with a related acute angle and with that acute angle I found the other angles but strictly speaking these are not the x values these are the 2x values right these are the 2x values therefore I have 2x is equals to this all this so what is x equals to x is half of this correct so my answer is pi by 8 7 pi by 8 9 pi by 8 and 15 pi by 8 so that is how I get my solution correct so these are all, all the solutions here uh, for this particular question the most important thing to understand here is that you know this part that is the domain if it is given for x you have to translate this for 2x and write all possible answers otherwise you're going to miss two of them that will be terrible okay now let me give you the other questions for you to practice okay and those questions are here for you so let me just slide this sheet here and get those focus in and these are part b c d so you can make a note of these questions uh, part b c and d and that is sine 2x equals to minus of square root 2 where x is between 0 to 2 pi and then we have sine 3x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi and tan 2x equals to square root 3 where x is between 0 to 2 pi well these two you can get exact answers correct and this one you need to round but well write both possible answers and when you are rounding round the nearest 100 thank you and all the best